Big old snaky limb coming up. Pretty far rigging point there. We're still working. <laughs> the maple that we just cut down yesterday. The video's on my channel. Big removal of the maple. Huge base, 44 inches. It's way bigger up here. Can't go this way where it's leaning because of the sidewalk here and this pole. So we're gonna go against the lane, use some wedges, stack at least two, if not three, to get it going out here. And then we have a line in it just for backup. <laughs> Yeah, I had a little bit of luck with that face cut. Watching a lot of loggers. I, you see when I did that, I, I, I did the first top cut, then I went to the bottom cut and then the saw wouldn't reach all the way through. So I flipped it over. Just watch a lot of loggers doing it that way. So I keep trying and trying to get it right and finishing that undercut and it worked out. So that's good. It's not a little bit of rot in the center. So I'll keep that in mind when I wedge, um, but it's a big maple. So I'm not surprised. I can't find my axe. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I gotta put some orange tape on this thing. <laughs> Everything on your right side is what's making it move. Got another wedge. These three are gonna push it over. So I can do this without dying in this ivy or whatever this is. All right, go ahead and winch on it. Yeah, perfect. This was all hinged right here. This is where it was dead in the center and then I had a whole two inches of, way of hinge over here. Combination of the, the rope pulling over there, a little Masvidal, whatever it's called. Masvidal, that's a USC fighter. <laughs> Something else. This little guy, find on Amazon, just pick up rope winch. There she is, gotta cut her all up now. And I am sweating. It's hot today. <laughs> So here I am up in these trees. This first one's a cherry, just going up to the top of it. I'm gonna top it. Kind of go over here and get some of these tops out. I wanna keep this side, cause I'm gonna set a rig point to rig out the limbs on the other tree because of the power lines right below. So we gotta swing everything from that tree over to this tree. You guys are on the ground cutting up this big stick that I fell. Out in Tacoma, Washington. Mountains over here. Oh, there it is. You probably can't see, it's a little hazy today, but yeah. I get to wreck all this stuff below me. Oh yes, it came out. Time for some cherry tops. Oh. 
Big ol' snaky limb coming up. I need to rig it'll be here ready to go so pretty far rigging point there also where i'm tied in i'm over the neighbor's yard right here fence and then there's power lines right here that these limbs are going over so we're going to rig this piece sideways out here all the way back to the stem over here <laughs> Now I'm just going to shorten this up a little bit. Oh, it's actually not too bad. A single. In fact, I think I'll just rig a whole nother... I'll rig this into you. Just hide behind the tree. <laughs> it just breaks all apart. I've got the power line right below me now, so all of this has to be perfect. Okay, yeah, perfect. And that's what I'm looking for. The three of you guys can slowly pull that up. That can't drop. If it drops, it's going to snag that line. Hopefully this whole branch comes up just like that other one does, did. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'll do the back cut underneath, and then I'll let you pull again. And I don't think we got that on video, but it came off just perfectly. It came right up in the air. I got to do it a couple more times here, so you get to see it again. So I'm using this Captain Hook here. To help me balance better, it's up here in the tree. The hook's over the slim right here. This is just backup right here. It's slacked out. All my weight's in the captain hook, which is up there. There it goes. Try to push it out of the way. Second. Let me just move it. It's not heavy. Well, it's gonna run on me. That's okay. Nice. right there. It's got enough space.
Oh, that was a fail. Slow down. Just let it down slowly. Yep. Now it's not. Crap, I thought I was done climbing. <laughs> I'm not. Oh man. Where's my little echo at? Oh, let's put some more gas in it. Oh, I could chunk that thing out. Last piece with this little guy. <laughs> yeah, 12 inch bar for that. YouTube, buddy. It's gonna bite you. Here he comes. I'm surprised no one we're got about, stung. We're about wrapped up here. Yeah, nobody got stung. There was no bees in this decrepit wood. People are gonna come by and get this though. Of course, we put it on Marketplace. But there's the stumps. I'm gonna end up grinding these. And there's more stumps and more stump and yeah, long day. Oh, well, there's the finished product. All the stumps are ground down. Looks really good. We're about to put the fence back up now. But there's your after. That was a lot of work. Three days. Two 12-hour shifts. We're still out here today. And it's, you know, we've been out here now for four hours already as it is. Just doing the stump grinding and the cleaning up of the chips. There it is. Looks really good. Appreciate Scott helping out. And Chad over here by the truck, this guy's kicked butt. Job well done. <laughs>